Hey Dads and Dolls and Divas, Afanisi. I'm here to show you my protective style. I have decided to go and embarked on a four month protective style and that pretty much means that my hair will be less manipulated, less touched, less everything. So this came about for the simple fact that I recently did a trim and I'm not big on trims. I usually do them only when I feel my hair needs it. And being that my hair is for something, I'm not sure for A, for B, it falls in four categories. My hair tends to have a lot of single knot, single knots at my ends. Not only do I have that, I also have some split ends. So I washed and conditioned my hair last week and I had noticed that a couple of pieces in the front, and you guys know my hair grew from here to here and then cut it back and you know, we didn't retain that much length because I was getting a little too scissor happy for myself. So I stopped it. So pretty much I washed conditioned my hair and I noticed that I had a couple of knots at the ends as well as a couple of split ends. And I once again went scissor crazy and decided to cut off more hair than I needed to. So I decided that the best thing for myself to avoid split ends and damage is to just protect my hair. And being that winter is so harsh for hair types in the four categories, it's better to protect your hair than, you know, better be safe than sorry. So I decided to do this protect the style which is just braids with my real hair. And you guys, if you're familiar with, I believe last year around my birthday, I did this exact same style, except I didn't have as much length. So pretty much you can see the growth. You can see the length retention that I obtained within this year. So pretty much I'm gonna be doing a protective style for four months. Hopefully I can do six, but being that it's December, I pretty much figured January, February, March, April, around May, April will be a good time for me to, you know, eliminate the harshness of winter. Less moisturizing, less breakage, less everything. And it's just better to do that. I'm not big on protective styles, but when you hit a certain mark and you just feel that retention is not happening, it's better to just be a protective style person for just a moment. So I'm going to leave this in my hair for two weeks. And in another two weeks, I'm going to take it out, do another style, which will make a full month. And then January to maybe March, I will have a full head weave in my hair. And hopefully it will be, you know, not a bad thing. I'm so not big on them. Since going natural, I've done maybe three weaves. And they all were curly styles, which was easier for me to maintain than with the straight hair. So hopefully I'll get something within that bracket or within that range and see what happens. So yeah, this is it. And I plan to leave the twist in the front till Saturday. I actually was chosen to be a natural hair model for one of the groups that I am in, which is Men Who Love Women with Natural Hair. I went Saturday to audition and I was chosen out of 10 people. <laughs> 10 people altogether actually were chosen to be the models. And um, Saturday is a photo shoot. And there, I met a lot of lovely, lovely naturals. And hopefully, you know, you guys will get you know, the inside scoop and see pictures of everything. And this was what brought about me really doing my hair as well. I wanted to do something other than the normal twist out, braid out, or bontoon out. And I feel like everybody's pretty much going to have the same style. So why not try to be different and do something different? And so I did this as well. And I'll let you guys know how that goes on Saturday. And hopefully, you know, I won't be so much gone with the videos. I have them more closer together and, you know. Hopefully, I'll get back into the routine of things. I'm still in between of everything because my camera is still not working. So, you know, editing videos and uploading them is such a problem with using just an iPad and iPhone. So, hopefully, I'll get that done. So, um, I have a couple of makeup tutorials coming on. I just purchased this 2-in-1 combo from MAC. And the color is a little too bright for me. It's just like the color of my nails. That's the reason why I got it. And I will do a tutorial because I plan to wear this tomorrow. I'm also going to a natural hair meetup, which is hosted by Taryn Guy. And I think it's in the hair rural salon in the city. So I will have hopefully something with me to record and get some useful information for you guys. And hopefully cram it into a video of what I learned. Um, this event is supposed to help towards learning to care properly care for your hair when you know doing heat pro heat styles such as flat ironing as in um hot roller sets you know just basic 
knowledge to take care of your hair. I am so big on making sure my hair grows. First and foremost, before I, you know, do retaining of length, I want health of my hair. I have no problem starting over from scratch, but I would hope that with learning so many different things from so many different people that I'm able to, you know, keep my hair, you know, from growing, from breaking, from split ends. Like once this hair color is completely gone, I probably won't be dyeing my hair for a long time. You know, a lot of people say, you know, color is the devil. And, you know, when you become natural, you just see so many different colors you want to try. And it's just, you know, evidently that you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to color my hair. But I bleached my hair. And with the bleaching, I haven't had any problems other than the knots. But I, I can't associate it with that with bleach. And, you know, say that's exactly what's making me get single strand knots at my hair. I can't really tell you. But for some reason, I've been getting them like a lot within the past couple, three months. And it's just aggravating to wake up. And, you know, find a knot at the end of your hair. And you have to, you know, cut it and groom and everything. Like, right now, my hair, I can't really give you an accurate length because, you know, it's twisted up. But I, before cutting it three days ago, it was about here. And then I cut it from here to my lip. And I have no idea where it is now. So I won't know till I do an official length check. Probably do one next week. Hopefully next week get into that things and you know I will be back within this week I have like I said some makeup tutorials I also have a couple of other stuff I want to touch base with you guys I just feel like I've been gone so much it's so hard for me to get into explaining everything that's going on and explain different things that I'm doing but I will get into that I promise you guys I will get into the swing of things I probably tomorrow morning I have to take um I'm taking a Nassau correctionals department test Nassau PD so in the morning when I'm up and, you know, ready to go, probably have a direct upload from the car. And, you know, I, I tend to do those a lot, but I don't like the way that it ends up because sometimes I have the camera, you know, a little too far off or a little too close up and it just looks ridiculous. So I will get that down pack for you guys. And, yeah, that's about it for now. So I will talk to you lovely, lovely dog later. And, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye.